Wow, nice light. The Orca Torx. This is a Ali Pierce scuba, by the way, Tech Tips. This is a brand new light that uh, Kevin and I received just a couple of months ago. We've had a bit of time to, to dive with it. And, you know, canister lights, I've used them before. I can tell you a cute story. About 100 years ago when I started diving, we actually had canister lights because back then the dive lights were not very good. You know, we used to light a candle in a jar and it was just hard to keep it lit. No, I'm kidding. This, no, no. This is nice. Now, right away, you're saying, I'm not interested in canister lights. Hold on, hold on. Don't change videos. This is a canister light. No question about it. And just to be sure you're clear on what the difference is, guys. And I'm talking to recreational divers. You tech divers, you know what canister lights are. And you know they're fantastic. You're the only way to go. And you might really be interested. This is incredible. But divers, this is a dive light, right? A little lanyard on there. And try to turn it on. Ooh. You can see all kind of neat things. This is a typical dive light. Oh, there's bigger and smaller ones. But now with the with the new LEDs and batteries, the lithium batteries, you don't need a big dive light anymore. This is a canister light. A canister light, what's the difference? This is the light. The bulb, if you like, is in here. And there's a wire that runs to a canister. That's why it's called a canister light. Just that simple. This clips onto your belt. Nothing to it. It stays down there. And this is your light. It's on your arm. You can use this handle. It's called a Goodman handle if you care about that kind of stuff and but this is the light so what's the big deal well the big deal is number one is much much brighter than a typical dive light much much brighter secondly you have lots of features so you can have those on a different powers this light will last on high power incredibly bright it'll last for two three hours you know good for a couple of dives if you put it on low power which is probably equivalent to your current dive light on low power 35 36 37 hours yeah, that'll last you a whole week with no battery charge or anything on it. Okay, that's the first thing. Uh, it's, it's much brighter. Secondly, because it's a canister which has a fairly large battery supply, it can be a brighter, longer-lasting light. So it's, a, it's just better. So if you do very much diving at night, very much wreck diving or cave diving or anything where you need a little extra light, even for photography. This light would actually work for photography. You guys with your GoPros and your fancy cameras, that we see, we sell a lot of those, you know, and they got the video feature, even for still photography. That's right, you don't need a flash anymore. Turn on this light and take your picture. Oh, you don't need a flash anymore. This actually acts as a, as a not a flash, because it's on all the time. But that's nice when it's on all the time, because now you can compose your picture. You can make pictures. Look at that, Kim. You can compose your image. That's right. You see something nice, you want to take a picture. You hold this right here. You get your camera ready. Boom. That's what you get. When you're using a flash, you don't get that. Right? You don't get that. You compose the picture, squeeze the shutter, the flash goes, and it's a different picture from what you saw. You don't know if it's good or not. This way you do. So this has so many uses. Now, I wouldn't be quite so enthusiastic about this light if it was a typical canister light. What do I mean by typical? What I mean by typical is starting at $1,000 and going up. Oh, I've got divers who came in here and they were saying, ah, I got a nice light the other day, Ellie. It cost me $2,100, but it's worth every penny because it's really bright. 2,500 lumen, it's super. 2,700 lumen. And these are very affordable. These canister lights, the, the Orca Torch, this canister light is cheaper than an awful lot of... Yeah, yeah it is. Check it out. You need to check it out. So, all 100% anodized aluminum, all heavy, heavy duty. Look at this cable. Heavy, heavy duty. The canister itself, easy to clip on. It comes with clips, easy to clip on a belt. It's all anodized aluminum. The case, I looked in the case. The case comes with a charger, right? It comes with a car charger because a couple of good reasons. First of all, it's nice to have that because <clears throat> a car charger is a nice accessory. Sometimes you're out diving and you can use the car charger. You can also use this on your boat. Any place where there's not 110 volts, it comes with that. It comes with extra O-rings, it comes with tools, and it comes in this great case. I really like the case with good snap locks on it. So I'm pretty enthusiastic about this. We've only had it for a very short while, and already I've been really impressed. Even in a bright pool, the light coming out of this is really incredible. Single button, just give it a push, it's on. Lower power. This is as much light as this. 35 hours of diving. Think about it, 35 hours. Yeah, you, a lot of you probably don't have that many hours of diving in total. Turn it off, just that easy. It's a great idea. So you should check this out. Go to Orca Torch. 
And there you'll find all the technical details. Now, Kevin had a list of all the technical details that he wanted me to share with you in this video. But, first of all, the video would be a half an hour long. There's a lot of technical details. And secondly, you don't need me to go through all that with you. I'm just telling you, this is worth checking out. Okay, Alec Pierce Scuba Tech Tips. Check out the Orca Torch Cancer Let. I'm really impressed with it. You can get the technical details on the website. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going diving. I'm going to turn the lights off. I'm going diving. <laughs> Check it out. Hope it works for you. Talk to you again soon.